All right, here we go. Flesh and Blood. This is the first box of Flesh and Blood I've ever opened, let alone held in my hands. Uh, so well, this is going to be kind of interesting for me. Um, I've long had an interest in other older card games that failed. This is currently a card game that is not failing, so I'm going to see what it's all about. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about this. I've not been watching the one channel that has a ton of influence over this, um, to be honest. In fact, I've kind of been on purpose, not really um, watching Rudy a whole lot, just because I want to get my own first impressions on this and not uh, not have uh, all the hype around it. Um, obviously, I know that the, the older, the first edition boxes are like ridiculously expensive. Um, cold foils, that's a thing. So I'm going to take a look and see if I can figure out what that is. So I'm kind of going into this as a flesh and blood noob here um so just come on along and check it out and i guess uh, so my scanner will do me no good for this game uh i will have to um check out at the end and see if i've got any hits here um on ebay i don't know this is a new set so uh, maybe nothing's really big uh in here anyway but i kind of really want to try to appreciate the set and the art and the flavor and the feel um without having a bunch of influence so first off the the paper packs uh, very different than the, the Magic packs. Um, this kind of reminds me of old like Upper Deck baseball packs from back in the 90s. Um, pretty nice. So I think there's a 10-card booster pack. So from a player's standpoint, I, I don't know anything. I'm gonna. This is going to be one of those videos where Magic player tries to figure out how to play Flesh and Blood just based on these cards. And then uh, on top of that, i got to kind of figure out what the rarity is and so on and so forth. So here we got Wax On. Uh, it has a zero, um, and it has two reds and a nothing. I don't know what that means. I really should have looked this up, but you know what, that's fine. I'm just gonna get this first pack to kind of get the flavor, and then I'll probably pick up this pace. While Wax On is defending an attack action card with cost zero, it has plus two defense. That looks like a shield, that's kind of a defense. Is it ninja? defense reaction so they're ninjas in this game it's fine uh, art wise uh, what I have seen has been really uh, impressive um, on the level of Magic the Gathering for sure and so I can really appreciate that that's definitely been my uh, my thing with going through older um, card games is trying to appreciate the art some of them um, were good and some of them were not so good so this one has uh, got this going for it uh, at least it has great art steadfast has a a uh, circle vortex of three, and then three other red vortex things. It's a guardian instant. Prevent the next four damage that would be dealt to your hero this turn by a source of your choice. So there are heroes, and I assume there are attacks and defenses of some kind. Um, I have seen something to do with this yellow line and this blue line. Honestly, I'm not going to get too caught up into it at this point. Wild ride. Very cool. Loving the orc riding the... The, uh, the boar there. When you attack with Wild Ride, draw a card, then discard a random card if a card with six or more yellow arrow symbol is discarded this way. Wild Ride gains Go Again. Great. Go Again. Brute Action Attack. So these are just the types of attacks and things. So um, I'm, I'm kind of gathering that you probably have a hero and on any given turn you gotta attack and defend by using these kind of cards so am i right anybody that knows anything down below go ahead comment tell me how wrong i am i'm sure i'm very wrong bear fangs when you attack with bear fangs draw a card and then discard a random card if a card with six or more is discarded this way bear fangs gains plus two so you just like pump spells read the glide path your next arrow attack this turn gains plus two arrow can opt one, look at the top card of your deck and you put it on the bottom, very similar to um, opt or scrying basically in Magic, you can go again. So I'm guessing that go again is can, not as powerful as taking another turn, but within your turn you may have another action, something like that, I'm going to guess. And uh, again with the zero, so zero and two and three, um, not sure how... Um, powerful that would be so this has got like a purple border here does that mean it's a good thing these this one had green red I'm not sure where's the rarity got to figure that out at some point 
Drowning Dire, very much like Drowning in the Lock, huh? If you have played or created an aura this turn, Drowning Dire gains Dominate. The defending hero can't defend Drowning Dire with more than one card from their hand. When Drowning Dire hits you, you put a non-attack action card from your graveyard on the bottom of your deck. Cool. It's a Rune Blade action. Attack. Very nice. Um, I'm going to go with very nice because I really don't know otherwise. Silver action. <clears throat> Three red circles, destroy silver, draw a card, go again. So generic token item. So just basically like an artifact. Just a little like lotus petal that you can crack for some mana. Or I guess this would draw a card basically, kind of like a clue. So there you go. See you, man. So this is a foil. I don't know. Is this a cold foil? How would I know if it's cold or hot? Are there hot foils in this game? Zoom in. When you attack with zoom in, opt X, where X is the number of times you've boosted this combat chain. Boost as an additional cost to play zoom in, you may banish the top card of your deck. Exile. If it's a mechanologist card, zoom in gains. Go again. So it's a mechanologist action attack. Great. So, uh, again, don't know the rarity. Um, should I stop and learn that really quick? I don't know. I think I'm just going to continue going on. I'm going to assume that a lot of these were commons, and since that one is a foil, maybe it's a little bit better. Pick a card, any card. That's kind of cool. I like the flavor there. Look at target opponent's hand, then name a card. Choose a random card from their hand and reveal it. If it's the name card, create a silver token. Repeat this process twice, so it's like a treasure token, basically. Uh, but no, the silver token get, draws you a card. Release the tension, baby. Your next arrow attack this turn gains plus three arrow and defense actions can't be played from arsenal. This chain link go again. So, okay. All right. So there's an R down at the bottom. Is that, is that rare? R is rare. Is that what that is? This is a rare. Okay. Now I see it. So C is common. Okay. That makes sense. Do we have uncommons? Let me go through here. Common, 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 common. So we got a common foil. And then two rares here. Great. Okay, I think I'm kind of getting the hang of this. I mean, how many variations of card game can you make, basically, right? So far. All right, I'll kind of go through this a little faster. faster. We got a, a common phantasmal haze, outland skirmish, coalescence mirage, bad beats. That's cool. Got the Hulk. Uh, veiled intentions. Got some food on the table there. Pry, that's cool. Nice little abstract. Uh, getting into the mine there. That's that's decent. Shrill of skull form. Nice. Yeah, I love the art. They definitely, I think, have uh, have nailed it. And this is what is going to be necessary for a game to be um, popular in this day and age. The art's got to be on point. It's got a foil common wild ride. Got a rare potion of iron hide and a slice and dice. There you go. All right, cool. Yeah, getting the hang of this. So I don't know if I would ever play this game. To be honest, I don't even barely have time to play Magic, a game that I do know how to play. Um, seismic stir in the swing. Blade Runner. Macho Grande. Timekeeper's whim. Cool. F Fatigue shot. Reek of Corruption, well, common mint phantasmal haze. So, I mean, I guess this is a cold foil. I don't know. Is there a difference? Pick a card. Same rare we already got. And a T-bone. So there's motorcycles in this game, huh? If you control a card on the combat chain that was boosted, the defending hero must defend T-bone with an equipment they control if able. Yeah, obviously. There we go. All right. Fun stuff. I will uh, try to do a little report at the end if I manage to pull something really decent. So we got Wax On, Outland. These are some some copies of the commons I've already gotten. Read the Glide Path. Rotary Ram. Very cool. This is kind of like a Kaladesh uh, plane. You got a little, got some mecha stuff going on there. Timidity Point. And then the common foil Timidity Point. Amulet of Echoes. And a Teclo Pounder. So that's a M for Mythic. Teclo Pounder enters the arena with three Steam Counters on it. When Teclo Pounder has no Steam Counters on it, destroy it. Once per turn effect, 
Whenever you boost an attack action card, remove a steam counter from Teclo Pounder. If you do, the attack gains plus two arrows. The the dancing around the different mechanics to try to not do something that's already been done by another company must be enormous at this point. Especially like you're trying to make your game set apart from the number one card game in the universe <clears throat> and the number two and the three and the four that still exist. And uh, you have to kind of name your mechanics like totally different out there stuff. It, the like the hill to climb to get like a new player like me who's never even seen this before to to just kind of be on board and give it a try it's got to be like pretty tough so kudos to uh, legend story studios um, for really sticking this through and and kudos to them for hooking up with Rudy because he's the really the, the guy that really was the driving force behind this I think so more power to him got some of the same comments here we got a rare um, foil life of the party very cool you may discard or destroy a card you control named crazy brew rather than pay life of the party's um, manic uh, for lack of a better word because I don't have it mana cost if you do choose all modes otherwise choose one at random life of the party begin gains when this hits gains life two green life that's weird Life of the party gains two arrows, or life of the party gains go again. So as an action, like a an attack action, you can do some stuff to get a different benefit, right? So hey, two for ones are not a bad idea. Foil rare, we'll put it there. Arcane Lantern and a Thunderquake. It's got heave three. Let's do it here. In the swing. The Blade Runner. Got some copies, some some duplicates here. Reek of Corruption. The Payload. Spectral Shield. Very nice uh, foiling on that. So hopefully the cold foils do not roll up like the other foils of other games that I'm used to. Potion of Luck. And T-Bone again. All right, moving on. I'm trying to make this a... 45 minute video, maybe just a 28 minute video. Twin Twisters. Rune Chant. I'll try to say the ones that I haven't seen before. Read the Glide Path is the foil. So, is there a foil on every pack? I guess that's kind of been the, the case here. Potion of Seeing and Slice and Dice are my rares. Haze, the Wild Ride, so getting a lot of the same kind of uh, cards over and over. They're very common for the common slot. Um, maybe you need a bunch of them to play the game. So I don't know, if, would you draft this set like you would in Magic, or is this only going to result in a constructed format? We've got Bad Beats as a common foil. Amulet of Intervention and Disillusion Sphere is another mythic, I guess. Disillusion Sphere enters the arena with a steam counter on it. At the beginning of your action phase, destroy Disillusion Sphere unless you remove a steam counter on it or from it. Whenever your hero would be dealt exactly one damage, prevent it. Great. So your hero, kind of like your commander, I guess, needs to be protected from uh, from damage, and this would, would help do it. So maybe this is a good card. I don't know. Haven't seen any heroes yet, I don't think, right? So are they uh, are they kind of rare? Maybe they are. I mean, by now at this point in the box of magic, we probably would have seen, you know, at least a legendary creature of some kind, or you know, even a creature of some kind. These have all been kind of like cards that would be played during an, you know, attack phase or something like that. Nothing that's static, staying there to be like protected either. I guess I don't know. Do you attack the the hero or do you attack the player? Tell me down below because I don't know. Emeritus Scolding is a rare foil. Got a nice little shine in the wizard staff there. And life of the party. And a high roller. All right. I kind of want to get a hero. Maybe they're awesome. So I guess that'd be an opportunity for like a nice full art character piece of art there. Mirage, Wild Ride, Bad Beats, Veiled Intentions. 
kind of the same stuff over again here. The whim, uh, coalescence mirage, amulet of ignition, and a thunder quake. So the amulet. Let's see. What does the amulet do? Just Go again, instant, destroy Amulet of Ignition. The next ability you activate this turn costs one less. Activate this ability only if you haven't played a card or activated an ability this turn. Got it. So just, I'm guessing it's just fuel to, to continue your turn or your actions or whatever it is. I don't know. Steadfast, Bear Fangs. Well, it wouldn't be hard to put together a set of, like, all of these commons, it seems like. Bear fangs. Amulet. Okay, so here we go. This this is a cold foil. Okay, now I see the difference here. Um, or at least I see that it is different. So the bear fangs, I guess, is your regular foil. And this amulet of intervention is a rare... It seems, I guess, that's a cold foil. Let me just look, look at them in the light a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of a difference there, I think, in the way they are, so interesting. All right, Amulet of Intervention, rare cold foil, I guess. And then we got a Spring Tidings. This is a, I guess that's a mythic for zero. And I don't know, what's the difference? Why is there one, two, or three over here? Benji Specialization, you may only have Spring Tidings in your hand if your hero is Benji. Like Benji the dog? When Spring Tidings hits, draw a card for each other action, attack action card with two or less base arrow you control on the combat chain. Go again, this is a ninja action attack. All right, cool. So I'm gonna, I guess I'll put my cold foil. Should I put it in a sleeve? I mean, sure. It's like, it's the only thing I know about this game is from hearing Rudy talk a little bit that cold foils are where it's at. Is that a good one? I don't know. I'll find out at some point. In the swing, waxing on again. Foot view, quicken. In the swing, got a rare high striker and hundred winds. The ninja attack. All right. No heroes yet. The heroes even come in this box. Skirmish, mirage, same. Same, same, same. Read the glide path common. Smashing good time. Look at this guy. Going to town in the carnival. The next time an attack action card hits a hero this turn, you can destroy an item that control it costs two or less. If smashing good time is played from Arsenal, the next attack action card you play this turn gains I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably stop reading all these. And I got another hundred wins. So getting like duplicate rares is kinda different and interesting although you're getting two rares in a pack so it's I guess bound to happen but um, being used to opening a box of magic and it's rare to get multiples of the same rare T-Bone then we've got a foil rare Nick Knack Brack Brack I thought this guy was a hero but now it's a generic action uh, as an additional cost to play Nick Knack Brick a Brack, you may destroy any number of copper, silver, and or gold you control. Search your deck for a card with amulet, potion, or talisman in his name. Put it into the arena. Then shuffle for each four, two, silver. Repeat this process. Okay. That's kind of an interesting effect. So you can just kind of treasure up and do some stuff with it. Sure. It's a uh, mythic, apparently. And we got a high roller. Easy to open at least. Twin Twisters. Same stuff we've seen before. Card quality is really good, I gotta say. I mean, it's definitely like nice playing card quality. Ride the Tailwind. Talisman of Balance. Haze Bending. The Illusionist Action Aura. Come on, I need a hero if I'm gonna play this game, right? Like, if you don't get a hero out of a full box, where do you go get one? Do you have to go pay a thousand bucks for a first edition box or something? What's that all about? Rotary Ram. I got a foil payload. Amulet of Haven Call. 
Winds of Eternity ninja attack action combo. <clears throat> if 100 wins was the last attack this combat chain, right? This gets plus two. When this hits, shuffle all cards named 100 wins you own on the combat chain into your deck. So I'm guessing the combat chain is like the stack. Or just like the c -c 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 combo breaker. Is this game, is this essentially Killer Instinct in cards? Try to get chained together like 50 attacks. 100 wins. Got a rare foil. There's a cold foil clarity potion. Yeah, so it's these look so much better than the etched foils for magic, I gotta say. I mean, yes, it's just like kind of like a subtle effect to it. And uh you know, looking at it like um live and not on the screen, it I kind of it actually looks pretty good, so and a rare clarity potion, instant destroy clarity potion opt two, so it helps you dig through your deck, I guess. So that one's pretty good. And we got a passing mirage. So we'll put a sleeve on my other cold foil here. So I guess that the what's the big chase here? Like a cold foil hero, since heroes obviously seem to be very rare. I don't know. Almost down to the end of this box. And no heroes. Unless I missed it somehow, but a bunch of commons that are all the same. Hopefully you need like 10 of the same common um, to play a game, because I have it now. Copper, I guess I haven't seen a copper yet. Generic token item. The ram. There's a pry. It's a pretty good, pretty good foil. Life of the party. Aether wildfire. Mythic wizard action. Deal 4 arcane damage to target opposing hero. If Aether Wildfire is played during an opponent's turn until end of turn, action card effects that deal arcane damage. Instead, deal that much arcane damage plus X, where X is the damage dealt by Aether Wildfire, obviously. Obviously. Alright. Really need a hero. Bear Fangs. Skirmish. Mirage. Deja Vu. This thing again. Doing it over. Time Warp. There's a foil mythic, blood on her hands. Man, that is gnarly. Dude, her face melted into her hands. That is like I, one of the sickest pieces of art I've seen in a card game in a long time. Magic would not do this anymore, I don't think. That is really amazing, I gotta say. Blood on her hands is my favorite card so far. Uh, warrior action, mythic. I guess that's mythic. Kasai specialization as an additional cost to play blood on her hands destroy any number of copper you control For each copper destroy this way choose a mode you may choose each mode twice Target one-handed weapon. Oh, so does your hero have like equipment spots? <coughs> or am I crazy? Okay target one-handed weapon has plus one Arrow attack while attacking this turn or it has go again while attacking or it may attack twice this turn and then you can go again on top of that. Wow. That seems really good, I guess. And no heroes, but I'm going to put a sleeve on this one. Blood on her hands. That's like an arch enemy card right there. That's great. Uh, Talisman of Tithes and Rune Blood Incantation. Bear Fangs in the swing. I feel like I've seen these before. Getting a distinct deja vu. Outland skirmish, life of the party, and rune blood incantation. Okay. Come on. Come on. Get off there. Blade Runner. Yeah, we saw that one. Yeah, we saw this one. Yeah, we saw that one. Yeah, we've seen this. Yeah, this looks familiar. Mm hmm. Seismic Surge is a token action card. Sure, Timidity Point. Talisman of Warfare, generic action item, and a high roller. A couple of rares. They don't seem super rare, though, because I think I've gotten like two or three of each of those. The Stir. Yep, yep, yep. I think I can just kind of skip these now at this point. Got Veiled Intentions. 
Uh, we've got Smashing Good Time, which that is a cool card. I like the art on that. Emeritus Scolding again. So, okay. Two packs left. No heroes. We have to send away? Is there like a redemption for a hero? The Stir, the Tailwind. Yep, 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 yep. Pela. There's Twin Twisters. High Striker. And Slice and Dice. Okay, last pack. I guess if I don't get one, I can just make my own hero. Like, who would I want my hero to be? Who's got like, anything close by? I'll just use... Alright, here's my ass whooping Timmy, signed by Rudy, to be my hero. Alright, so we'll equip that all out. Let's see, wizard action. 100 wins, this is a foil. Um, a mythic winds of eternity. What am I grabbing? Hold on, this is the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to be funny. Do that again. Twin Twisters. The Reek of Corruption. The Pyroglyphic Protection. The Rotary Ram. Right up Timmy's Alley there. Ranger Action. We got a Smashing Good Time in Foil. A Clarity Potion. And a Swing Big mythic if swing big doesn't hit the defending hero creates a quicken token when the combat chain closes it's got eight and three so no heroes i don't know how to play this game so i don't know if that's important or not but i'm out of packs so anyway i think i got some good ones here i am going to uh look up a few of these and just see if i got anything of note and i'll let you know all right a little bit of uh update here at the end so um, these couple of things here are about five bucks each maybe and the blood on our hands might be something like ten bucks and um, this other stack of here stuff might be a dollar and two dollars each so that was my first box of uh, flesh and blood um, pretty cool I really like the art on uh, blood on our hands and the coal foils look kind of nice uh, overall the the art style is pretty cool I don't get the game I might have to actually learn if I'm going to Try to sound like I know what I'm doing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you on the next one.